Hello and welcome to more nerdy rodent geekery. Today I am looking at Deep Dream Video. Yes, it's this one from five years ago and uh, show you a little bit of what it can do there in the anim gifs. Now this looks like the most complicated install possible in the world. You know, you start looking at this, it's got uh, advice on this GitHub page and you go to here and it's like, okay, yeah, there's some things, there's some things there and you know, how do I make my own thing? And you go here and there's the, like this massive page. It's like, wow, how do I make my own? And it's like a million different things. And you're like, oh man, this is gonna take me absolutely ages to install. But uh, it's 2020. So yeah, welcome to 2020. Um, nowadays, all we do is we just use Anaconda. And uh, with Anaconda Create, Deep Dream Video Python 2.7. I can transport myself back five years. There we go. Just quickly create a new environment. Yes, thank you. Right. And we'll quickly activate that as well. Do, 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 do. Copy and paste. There we go. Right, so I've got my new Deep Dream Video. Now the installation is Condor Install Cafe GPU. And that takes a few seconds as well. That to solve its environment. Come on, you can do it. Fantastic, and now we've got that installed. We'll also just do a bit of FFmpeg. Now this is one from Condor Forge because it's got uh, Libx264 included in it. Um, there's also the optional uh, PNG crush if you want to use PNGs. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually not going to use PNGs. I'm just going to use the uh, JPEGs. So yeah. Anyway, once that has installed, then we can start doing things. I'll leave that to install. Anyway, so that's that. That's all the install dependencies. Um, now, so you got the extract frames. Uh, so you need a source video, and then you basically say, okay, is that going to be PNG or JPG? So I happen to have a source video, borrowed one from Pexels, and the one that I borrowed is this video here the kaleidoscope. Um, now I've just taken a, a little tiny clip of that um, rather than um, doing the whole video because it's uh, it, will, it will take a little bit too long otherwise. Anyway, we'll just proceed on this. So the clip of the video I've got is just a few seconds long. There's that video. Now it does have some audio as well. Um, if you use a clip without audio, uh, you'll find when you try to stitch the frames together, step three, uh, which is got slightly lower down, you've got one, two, and then three. Oh, if you don't have audio in there, uh, it will fail. It'll just go, no, no, I can't do anything. So um, yeah, put some put some audio in your clip if you don't have audio in there, uh, or just make sure that it does. Anyway, so you got your, you got your video, and now we need to make the frames. So we'll just pop this little command in here. Now the video I've got there is this little tiny clip. So that's what you pop in here. So I'll just have a clip. And then video frames is the directory it's going to create to put all that uh, video into, frame-wise. So there we go. Pop. We've got this video frames directory created. And then you've got to run your deep dream. Now this is the this is a complicated bit because you've got loads of things lots and lots and lots of things going on. Uh, help will show that message or you can read it off this web page. Um, input and output, fairly obvious, you know, where, you, where you've got your frames and where you're going to put them to. Uh, image type, you have to specify, uh, and that's going to be, uh, you know, JPEG or ping, depending on what you selected at the beginning. Uh, GPU, I wouldn't even bother running it on a CPU. Um, and then you've got your model parts. Now, the models are sort of the same things we've seen before, they're the cafe models. Um, it does have the link I think somewhere, uh, yeah, there you go, to the model zoo. Um, so you can, you know, go ahead and use any of those models. Um, it's also got these links as well to um, what the things actually look like. So you've got lots and lots of layers in there, like, you know, Conv1 and Pool1 and uh, Norm1. So depending on what you want to do, um, you can have it looping through these different layers. Um, or um, just have it stick in one. 
Uh, so that was AlexNet. You've also got the layers here for GoogleNet. Um, you can read the, the prototext file and that will also show you all the layers. So if you want to use a different model, uh, have a look at the prototext file. That will give you what all the layers are and you may need to change the layer names. Uh, but this is the, the GoogleNet one and you've got loads down here. So we'll go a little bit further down, but the ones that start looking fun are, you see you've got the uh, Conf 3x3 looks a little bit weird. And then you start getting the output layers a little bit further down. That was quite a nice one as well. There, the 3 by 3 reduce. Trying to sort of do edge detection. And then the further in you get, the more sort of weird it gets. So once you start getting as far as things like this one, the 3B, we should be getting an output in a minute. 3B pull, 3B output. So yeah, so once you get to these output layers, like 3B output, 4C output, um, yeah, you start you start getting lots of lots of weirdness going on, plenty of weirdness. So yeah, that's a, a good graphical description of what your video will sort of look like, uh, depending on which um, layer you use, you know, uh, or it, it loops through them. Anyway, um, this is also a little bit of some of the things you might discover in there. So you've got hearty beast and measuring cups and ants and starfish and all these curious beasts down here. Uh, if you start looking at clouds, you know, you've got Admiral Dog or a pig snail. Watch out for the camel bird and the dogfish as well. So yeah, leaves might turn into birds and insects, trees might turn into buildings, and horizons might suddenly appear as towers and pagodas. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a little bit of uh, information there on, you know, how deep you go and what you're going to see and, and what layers you've got. And that, that's what all these settings are here. Uh, so you've got your model, uh, which we've just been through the various models. Uh, then the octaves, default is 4. Um, the octave scale, default is 1.4. Now those are sort of, I've got a, a, a brief description of what they, what they do here. Um, so the octaves, the lower that is, the sort of shallower the dream is, so to speak. Uh, and the higher that is, the deeper the, the dream is. Uh, and you do need a bit more RAM for some of those as well. Um, the octave scale is how big those little things like the pigfish are going to, you know, appear. Um, but you can't go very, very small um, without having loads and loads of RAM. Uh, 0.75 was about as small as I could go and that was quite tiny. Um, and going above 3 just doesn't seem to look right. But 3 is, is very, very big object. Um, so yeah, you can, you can play around with the octave scale, that's quite a good one. Iterations obviously will affect the speed and the quality of it. Jitter, I honestly couldn't tell um, the difference in the outputs. It, it affects the gradient ascent, but between 0 and 32 it was like, I don't know. So yeah, play with jitter a bit. Zoom, haven't really played with it. Again, it's an integer. So you can only actually have like, you can't have a zoom 1.1, you can only have zoom 2 or 3 or 4, so that's a bit weird. Um, step size is the, my favourite one. Um, so step size, uh, basically the larger the step size, uh, the more weird something will look. Um, so if you've got quite a big step size, like 2 or 2.5, two um, things look slightly weird. Um, you've also got the layers, um, again we've been through those. Um, the default is custom loop. Uh, or you can choose a particular one. So if you're looking at the custom loop, um, then that's these layers over here. So layers loop. So that's his default layers loop. Uh, and they're at line 247. So you can see he goes from inception 4C up all the way to 5B and then back down again. Um, whereas I've just done a slightly smaller loop. So I just go to 4C uh, and I actually go backwards and then back up to 4C again. So yeah, you can play with your layers loop and obviously if you find a model that has, you know, you look in the prototext file and oh, hang on, all the layers are different. Uh, yeah, so if you want to loop through different layers, um, you can have a look at that. So there's one of the prototext files for uh, Google Map Places 205, for example. You see layer and then you've got the name. So yeah, that's quite fun. Right, so let's let's have a go at running this, shall we? Shall we go at running this? So once you've got all your bits and pieces in there, then you can start running it. Um, now, this these examples here miss off the fact that you do need to include um, image type. Um, so as, as a minimum, uh, you could do that uh, with ITR, um, or you can make them 
a lot longer, like I like to as well. So here's an example of, uh, of my one. Uh, so I've got all my cafe models stored in a directory backup one. So I've got cafe models, I've got Google Net Places 365 and 205. Uh, another thing is it's got hard coded in, the, in there to look for uh, deploy.prototex. So you only specify the cafe model name, you don't specify where the prototex file is. Uh, and if it isn't called deploy.prototex, it will go, I can't find deploy.prototex. Um, so just call it deploy.prototex and, and you'll be fine. It, it will work nicely. Anyway, so this is the little tiny clip we've got there. Yeah, got that one. That's only a few seconds long. And we're basically going to do something to that. So let's take this deep dream command here. And actually, let's take this one here. It's a better example. Right. So we've got um, that minimum command there, but with the uh, type in there, JPEG. Uh, the model path is pointing to that cafe model, um, and that's the name of it there. I am obviously using the GPU. Um, S, I'm using 8 there. If we remember up here, that is the step size. That's the, uh, that's the one that makes it more weird. Uh, and B is random. So this is the blending type um, between each of the frames. Uh, Default is 0.5 uh, loop or random. I've gone for random on that particular example. Uh, so let's just run one of these and see what happens. Paste that in there. We'll go through the layers and then eventually start processing your frames. We we'll get an estimated time there and a total remaining. So uh, if you want to check on what is happening, you can see in here your process frames frames are coming through one by one so you can just have a look and go oh okay is is that the sort of thing that I like um, you know do I like pagodas maybe I want to use a different layer maybe I want you know little blobs in there um, so yeah so look at the other frames you can see it's cycling through the different layers here sometimes you get the pagodas and sometimes you get the, uh, the swirlies but yeah you just leave that for a little while and uh, it will look, uh, well, I'll, I'll speed up time and I'll show you in a minute. Right, so that's done its thing and we are ready to create the movie. Let's run that third command. Processed frames, now the original one is actually just this clip. That's basically for the sound. And there we go, so we've got processed frames done. If we have a little look at that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty weird. That is pretty weird. Lots of buzzing towers and who knows what in there all sorts of things. Lots of other things to play with as well. So um, there's this guided dream as well. That was the that was the other thing I was looking at here. Similar sort of thing, but uh, you get a different output. Just show you the frames quickly in the processed frames. That's a different one. So that's with the guided image. You can see it processing in a minute so that's without the guiding image and this is with the guiding image so yeah a, a little bit of a different look so you can play with uh, the guiding image a lot as well to uh, change how your video does its things but uh, that's a, that's about it really there you go deep dream video lots of things to do with it and loop play with all those parameters play with loads of different networks and stuff you know you've got the places CNN in there and all these other ones in here, the AlexNet and the VGG, and then all the ones in the Model Zoo as well. So yeah, yeah, lots, lots and lots of different things to play with. Um, yeah, that's me for now. Rodent out. <laughs>